as you build up your world in Kanker, you'll run into situations where you want to mention other entities in descriptions or posts. You could simply write the entity's name, but that isn't very user-friendly. Instead, we have various ways to link to other entities, so that when the target's name is updated, it also updates everywhere it's mentioned. Let's have an example here and edit our fan. Say I want to reference another entity in my campaign. I can use the at symbol and type the first three letters of the entity's name. This opens up this menu with entities with matching name. In this case, I want Adam Morley. The mention is now displayed in the text editor. If I save, it's now rendered as a link when viewing the entity. And when hovering this mention, I can now get a preview. Sometimes you want to mention another entity, but customize the name under which it's displayed. For example, in some languages, depending on the context, the spelling of the entity's name will need to be adapted. Instead of using the at symbol, you can use brackets. So let's use the bracket and type three letters of a character. The same options appear. When I select Adam Morley, it injects it using what we call advanced mention, which is the entity's type, its unique number, and a preview of the entity name. If I want to customize the way the link is displayed, I can add a pipe and type a custom name under which it will appear. If I save and view this entity, the second link now appears as Adam Morley the Dangerous. The tooltip still works. Say you want to mention an entity which doesn't yet exist in your campaign. You can do it using the at symbol and typing the name of a character. Replace spaces with an underscore. This brings up an option with some of our most popular entity types to be able to create a new entity on the fly. In this case, let's create a new character. If I hit save, I can see a new character has been created. I can click on this link and now start filling up the new character I've created. If this tool has been useful to you, please consider hitting the like button and dropping us a comment with which feature you want us to explore in an upcoming tutorial video.